Okay, I'm rolling. Are you rolling? Yeah. Oh! oh no! First! We got one! First! Oh! It's in the water! Yeah, he's in the water. There he is. Okay, Dad, you hang on to him. Hey guys, Capper here, and welcome back, and welcome to our first ever uh, goose family hatching here on our southern Illinois farm. This is going to be an up and down ride, um, but we keep it real and we just document this as it happens. So don't forget, if you enjoy this stuff, please hit the like button and share it for us because that helps us get out there a little bit more, so we appreciate that. So now let's see what's been going on for about the last month or so. So it's early morning and we've got cold weather coming. We've got snow that's supposed to come tonight. But hopefully they can stay tucked in close next to mama. The next two nights we got snow and frost warnings on April 20th. That's definitely very, very late down here. As far as we know, we've still got six but I haven't got a count here yet this morning. You can see sometimes you can't see them all. Oh, there's one peeking out. But these parents are really good. I mean, they're really paying attention to everything and she's not taking them out in the water hardly at all. She must know that bass will eat them if they're big enough, if the bass are big enough. Well, I think I spoke too soon. I think we're down to five already. Looks like we may end up with a second nesting pair. At first I had a scare. I'm like, where are all the chicks? I couldn't find the other pair. But they're kind of hiding right back there. Well, they were over the crest of the pond dam. So I guess now that they have the little dumplings, it's not competitive like it used to be. They really don't care about another pair of goose hanging around. 
pair of geese. So we've been down to four now for a few hours, but they weren't acting strange. I'm wondering if one of them got into the tall weeds. Because uh, now you can see they're showing great interest and he's calling. So I bet you there is one in the weeds. Because the first time when they lost one, they were acting totally different. They were on high, high alert, and, and you could tell they were acting funny. But this morning, they've just been really relaxed, and just one all of a sudden kind of disappeared. I bet you that's what's going on right now. I bet you they're calling to them. You can see. And of course, the other ones are coming, but I bet you it's lost in the weeds. In the woods. here by the septic tank kind of. I bet you he got in there. I mean something obviously has their interest in it. Otherwise they wouldn't be over by the woods. No. down to three chiclets. Right, April 25th and we still have a three count. I 
kind of keep hoping that one of them is going to appear, but it's probably no more hope of that. So after that night, we didn't see them anymore. Um, but the story's not totally over yet. Um, we figured something got them in, that, in the middle of the night. Something got all three of the last three that were left. And the parents took off to find another nesting place. Because I guess if they, um, if they lose them all, they'll start a whole nother nest, usually somewhere else. So the days went by, and we did have our usual wildlife um, to kind of keep us company. But it was kind of somber. We kind of missed them little buggers, you know, after a few weeks of watching them and following them. We figured that the three were starting to get big enough now that that we might they could survive you know and we can finally finally see some wild critters growing up here on the pond and with all the predators we have i guess it was probably gonna happen anyways that way However, I kept a little bit of hope, just in the, in the back of my mind, in my heart, I'm like, oh, man, I mean, we, you know, we looked for them, we went out and looked for them, and we walked around to the rice pond, and, I, and we couldn't find them anywhere, so about two weeks went by with nothing, and then one day I got a text picture from Sharon that they returned. Uh, and the three chitlins that were left were like triple the size, at least double the size, maybe triple the size that they were when they disappeared two weeks ago. So it almost felt kind of like a little miracle, but man, it was a good feeling, I'm going to tell you, when they showed back up. So now let's see how they're doing these last couple of weeks. Today is May 19th. I think it's uh, I think it's May twenty third today. Geese don't like kitty. <laughs> <laughs> 